Hello, and welcome to the Cozy Corner. Today we're playing Fury. And we're going to be playing on normal mode for this playthrough. Um, I might be doing a playthrough on the harder mode, depending on how much of my ass it kicks. So, this is a straight up boss rush style game. Um, for the most part, you're just... The game is just in three sections. You have, like, a before the boss conversation, a walk through the level, and then the boss fight, which is multi-tiered and has a lot of phases. Uh, we're playing as this character here with the white you hair. A weapon, a it's called The Stranger. And now, you're nothing. I will keep on killing you. Again and again. I am your future, an eternity of slow, painful deaths. I hear thunder, bitter batter. Time to wake up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here with you. Shake your head. Here's our little companion for the game, go. this rabbit-headed guy. See what they did to you. He's gonna let us free, and we're gonna do our thing here. Pull yourself together. Get out of prison. Kill the jailer. Fight for your freedom. Jailer is the key. Jailer is the key. Kill him. And you'll be free. And you'll be free. So, they pretty much laid it out for you. Kill these bosses so your character can escape from this weird dungeon he's in. Um, just to give you forewarning, this isn't my first time playing the game. I started it and got through about to about the third boss just to get used to con the controls and stuff. No. And um, now this is what you're seeing is my second playthrough. Well, my second play. I didn't play all the way through the first time. Um, so these first three bosses, I'm going to beat first try, pretty much. Um, some of the other ones get much harder and take multiple tries. But for your viewing, I've cut it down to just the best attempts on those ones. So basically, you just see me winning. You don't have to deal with me losing stuff. Every step you've taken from that cell, I'll make you regret you listen to me, and you listen good. You'll never escape. And there's our multi-tiered dungeon out in outer space. Pretty weird setting. I swear I'll put you right back in your cell. There's an easy way, and a hard way. You choose. <laughs> Excellent choice. So, this first boss, which serves as sort of a tutorial, uh, is called The Chain. Um, but the first time you play, you might lose to this tutorial. This game is not supposed to be easy. Even on normal mode, it is pretty darn hard and takes a lot of tries to really get used to the boss's ways of doing things. So, battles sort of break themselves down into two main phases. Um, there's a phase where you're at a distance from the enemy, and you're mostly using your gun, which you control with the R stick, like a twin stick shooter. And then once you've got the life bar down, you usually go into these close range phases where you're stuck in this uh, circle of effect and your controls change to focus more on close combat. That isn't to say you can't use your sword when you're at the distance, I was hoping you'd try to get up. just that so it works differently. So, if you take a look at the UI here, you'll notice we have two life bars. Ours is on the left and the boss is on the right. Basically what we're doing is we're trying to take the boss down without losing our life bar. You see the three squares under our um, health bar are essentially our retries. Every time you or the boss takes one, of the, one or the other's health bar down, you regain your full bar. 
So losing to the boss puts them back at full health at the phase that you're fighting them on. And your goal is to simply just keep knocking them down until they're out of phases. Also, when you successfully beat a boss's phase, you will get one of your retries back. So, while these battles can actually last quite a while, especially on your first attempts, um, they're very fast, and uh, even a couple of mistakes will make you lose. Now, see, so there's a lot of dodging uh, going on in this kind of game. You have your dash function, which allows you to get past objects between you and the end of the dash location without getting hurt. And also you'll notice that you can shoot through enemy bullets, at least most of them. And the green ones will drop little uh, triangle things that give you a health bar back. When you're in close combat, your main focus is about either hard countering enemies to do these cone attacks, or parrying the enemies when they're doing attacks that have the little light slip. Uh, sometimes you can counter immediately and get a full combo in. Other times you have to counter a certain set of attacks to get a hit back in. They really hurt, don't they? Well, that was not. I'm gonna teach you some real pain. Basically, the first half of this boss fight is just teaching you the controls, and then it starts to let you have an actual fight. Not completely. But, for the most part, it stops being a tutorial near the end. Do you, really think you, me? you can charge up your gun to do a stronger attack, but of course, a lot of the enemies are very good at dodging things that they're not um, vulnerable to. Anytime you do a good parry, um, you'll get a green glow, and that not only negates damage, but will get you back half a life bar. You can also do these perfect parries that allow you to do like a cinematic counter. They're pretty awesome. Like I said before, this boss is pretty simple. Um, his attacks are pretty evenly spaced out and easy to read. So you just do your parries and get a perfect counter like that. Sometimes you'll get caught in these attacks, and you have to jiggle the sticks to get out of extra damage, or sometimes you even hurt the enemy. Um, I'll be honest, this is the, like the one complaint I have with this game. Um, on PC, this is you still should really use a controller with this game, but. The analog stick uh, reactions just do not work properly. Um, you can do an obscene amount and not do it, and you can do a very low amount and get out of it. Um, as far as I can tell, the most reliable method is to not do rotations with the bar sticks, but to jiggle them back and forth between left and right really fast. Also, can't help but point out how awesome this game's soundtrack is. I think they got a nice collection of like electronic artists doing stuff for this game. It just works really well. Yeah, they created this weird aesthetic already, even in the first level of um, this no way. electronic like Samurai Jack meets Hyper Light Drifter kind of thing going on. Though, unlike Hyper Light Drifter, which is a very uh, chilled out game, this game has no fucking chill. As you can see, your armor changes color when you're lower on health. There's a command. There's one command they do not tell you in the tutorial you have access to. If you, uh, when you're in close range, and for some reason you have a gap of time where you know you're not going to get hit, you can um, flick the right stick and hold it down, and you'll turn yellow, where you'll do more damage in exchange for getting hurt more. we go. We're getting very close to the end. Usually, well usually, like every boss pretty much has a final phase that is like a desperation attack, and it's more about surviving the attack than countering it directly. Um, usually the second to last phase is where they're going full combat mode. Like it's where it's testing your reaction skills. 
Though, of course, the desperation move itself is a test and reaction. Some of them can be pretty tough. You should notice that the boss turns gold sometimes. They're invincible when that happens, which will be prevalent in the desperation attack this boss uses. There we go. Go to our last close range section. Can't get a full combo off against some of the attacks you're countering. Maybe he's got a little tracking going on, too. It's best to wait for the series to end on those attacks to get the hit in. Going there early would just make him dodge. There, I tried to do the charge up. I realized there's not enough time for it. Here we go. Desperation move. There is no way you can defeat me. There's no hurting him in this phase. Uh, you're shooting to get rid of the bullets, basically. Oh, dashing through these uh, waves. This one's not very difficult. It's just it gets you used to the idea that these kind of things happen. And, uh, actually, now that I'm seeing it again, it's, uh, kind of interesting how that I'm looking at it after having beaten the game. Um. Interesting. Okay, so your point here is to just sit there and dodge him all until his invincibility wears off, then finish him off. As you can see, I don't realize this at first. I try to get some hits in, but it's futile. Usually it's very easy to kill them after they finish their desperation move. It's just, just one hit's all you need to really finish them. Not always the case, but often. Time to kick around the guy that's been getting his kicks from shocking you. You will be broken. You will go back to yourself. So there's this weird thing going on where I thought, like... Bravo! Excellent! What a thrill. Basically, I thought they were trying to imply that you keep getting... Breaking out and getting thrown back in. But, uh... That's just not the case. You're just flat out killing these people, so... There's no, uh... Crazy looping kind of thing going on with this game. It's just... I can help. You just now are trying to break out. What's waiting at the end of all this is so worth the trouble. You and me, we're in the same boat now. Now let's get the hell out of here. Let's do what our friend says, walk through the portal, and get on to the next boss. Way down there lies a free world. A world of peace and light, where you're free as the wind. And you know what? We're going to get there. 